Well, hello, my fellow caramelers. How are you doing today? On today's episode, we are going to talk about heim joints and how to get a really neat product that will replicate them really well. See that? Ooh, heim joints. If you don't know what a heim joint is, it's, you know, we're going to tell you all about the heim joints. If you're wondering, you come to the right place. So I've got this uh, Willys I was working on a long time ago and I kind of did some fabrication to this frame and I wanted to have a really trick modern suspension even though it was kind of a gasser and I did a lot of scratch building here and I used some tubing and I made my own rod ends or heim joints even here and I got a couple other really cool things I was making my my struts I keep them in a bag but can you see that with with the heim joints on the end I don't know if you can see that hopefully eh. but anyways um, I'm gonna tell you what these are and there are some companies that make some and I know on the internet there were some people asking on the Facebooks that uh, wondering if there was anybody who could 3d print these little little jobs right there and let's see if we can get a good look at this one on the end here you see that and right there in there and you can see I kind of just only have it mocked up with just some wire holding the suspension together but uh, if you don't know what these are they're commonly used in performance and race car suspensions to replace like you know what you have on your street car you have moving joints it's basically a ball and socket and it will be movable and you have that in your suspension because your suspension travels you will have that in what is called a tie rod and on a regular street car well sometimes you need to have especially with custom suspensions you need a little more performance a little more strength but also be lightweight in racing, there's where the heim joint comes in. In the UK, it's called a rose joint, <laughs> but it is an articulating joint that is basically got a little ball inside the head of the rod end that will move around in there and give you like about 90 degrees of perfect movability around that make all your motions for all your alignment settings and the, the moving of your suspension and everything and it's just a ball inside there with it with a hole through it that the bolt goes through so you can bolt it up like in this situation and you see how much movement we have uh, which this kind of replicates that so I'm going to tell you how I came up with this look. I did not come up with it by myself, and I will tell you where you can get a hold of things like this. Now, there is a company called RB Motion that makes some beautiful little turned aluminum rod ends. I have never got them. I actually would like to get them sometime. They look fantastic, but uh, these are also pretty easy to obtain. But I got it from the train world. And where I found out about this was there was a model car builder back in the 80s who was really well known and was winning at Salt Lake and all that. Many of you may have heard this name, Don Farney, and he built beautiful, beautiful drag cars and a lot of other things, but his speciality was drag cars. And back in 1988, I got to start talking to him on the phone and stuff and he had a car that was in a scale auto that was this beautiful Thunderbird Pro stock and in the magazine it showed beautiful undercar shot that you could see all these hind joints and I was like wow dude how did you do that and he said handrail stanchions HO handrail stanchions from the model train store or the model train department. There's quite a few companies that make them for HO trains, the town rail stanchions. And you can see it's just a ball with a hole and it. it has a little shank on the end there uh, that you can, it fits perfectly in this tubing like that so you can get that look. And um, it just works out so perfect. And there's uh, one company that I like called Precision Scale Company. I hope they're still around. I bought a bunch and I still have so many. I haven't bought them in a long time. Look them up on the internet. I think they're still around. There's a lot of other companies too, but they made these that just looked perfect. 
and they're kind of a goldish color which really works out it contrasts from the aluminum if you're going to leave the aluminum rod and it just gives you that that real cool race car suspension look I mean you can't beat it but uh, I know there were some guys asking about it and I just thought I'd whip this quick video together to show you what I use you're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube I have this is something different this is one I was gonna try these are made out of brass and it's from this company um, I bought these quite a while ago from the train store um, I had not tried these these are not what was in these I think these were plastic um, and they were all kind of loose in there but I found this one what figured I'd try those out but I got a bunch of different kind and here I'm gonna give you a real quick look of something I totally scratch built a coilover shock with rod ends on it it's so fun to do scratch building like that look at that so you see right there there's the hole for the bolt and you can just really do trick suspensions with this stuff and um, quite honestly my plan was it looks movable and right now it's movable when I get this model done I will glue everything together I don't like movable uh, chassis at all or suspension I like it to look like it's movable so if it starts out as movable when you're building it then it's going to look movable when it's all uh, all fixed and, and together but uh, one day I'll guys I'll, I'll show you guys look at how much that swings around jeez um, one day I'll show you guys this this build I might have to get back on it I know I busted this out at a model meeting a couple months ago and I was told by Chuck from Chuck's Hobby Spot that I gotta finish this model in February and uh, well Chuck I'm sorry I'm not but you know what I think I'm gonna put this model on my 2022 to-do list I think I do want to bust this baby out and get going with it and that'll be for another video i just wanted to show you guys this because it was a subject brought up on one of the facebook groups and i had mentioned handrail stanchions and everybody kind of looked at me like i was uh you know had a third eye um, on my forehead and that would just be ridiculous so that's it that's all i wanted to show you guys i hope this is helpful give you another quick shot of all the coolness i got going here um did a lot of scratch building of all these brackets and everything and this is all for the coilover shocks I have another set of coilover shocks I think R&D unique coilover shocks I'm going to use on this and uh, that's pretty much it in the front suspension this front suspension by the way is all scratch built all tubing there's my mounts for the coilovers that I built right here and um, yeah things I, I am a suspension geek. I've mentioned that. I've, I've worked on the real things. So when I do a suspension, I really know how they work. And I like to make them look like they would really work. <laughs> so that's... Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of thinking, wow, this is just too neat to leave in a box. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Go check that out. Just, just go ahead and Google... HO scale handrail stanchions and you're gonna find these all over the place and uh, quite a few companies to order them from super cheap um, like this set here I have other ones this set here is uh, was was three dollars and twenty five cents at the time but I think I bought these 20 years ago um, I got a few other ones hanging on the pegboard different styles but uh, this one was my favorite so well, I tell you, that's what we talk about, how fun it is building these model cars, and that's why we do it. So keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. We'll see you in the next video. Here's the producers.